Okay, welcome back guys. This is um, the second part. This is the castle segment. Um, I pre-recorded uh, castle in two sections. Uh, I recorded chapter three and then also chapter four and uh, a bunch of little um, um, alternative strats for certain rooms as well. And I'll be showing those too. Like for Water Hall and uh, the Garador room, um, and a few other things. But uh, all right, let's get started. Should be audio. Oh. Oh yeah. The first like probably five minutes of this, five or six minutes. I forgot to. <laughs> switch the audio again so there's not going to be any audio but that doesn't matter too much I apologize for that okay so right here it's just a little movement thing tell Ashley to wait when you when she's about right here at the edge of this door and then start moving forward or moving uh, to the right immediately and you should hit the X prompt right on the merchant um, if you go forward for too long you'll end up bonking this door or um, you'll just overshoot him so so here we're gonna completely overhaul our inventory so go to sell and we're gonna sell everything from handgun down I don't know why it froze here Okay, man, VLC, I just don't understand sometimes. Yeah. And then we're going to buy the rifle semi auto TMP and just rearrange your inventory the same as I'm doing. So at this point, uh, that's what your inventory should look like. You should have three flashes um, the grenade launcher and rifle we just bought and a TMP and have your ammo uh, arranged like this. I just wanted to show here that there's an herb if you need it for some reason. I think I show a few other th backups. Like if you got to this point didn't have enough money. There's nothing over here. Here there's a treasure. I think it's 80 or 5,000. So That's if you you know, just getting started, just trying to finish runs. Um, obviously, you know, can't be going for those in, when you're going for a better time. Anyway, um, grab the rifle ammo. Okay, this, this shot's fairly difficult to do. Um, he was standing in a nice position. He wasn't swaying too much, so I got to shoot him fairly, fairly quickly. Here you have the option. Uh, the timer with this game pauses when you go into the options menu. So you can pause and switch to mouse and keyboard and do this shot if you'd like. Um, I personally, I don't find this shot difficult enough to warrant using a mouse and keyboard. Um, there are times where he's moving back and forth. It would be easier if I was using mouse and keyboard. But I, I just hate switching. Um, it using controller is fine here so uh, we have to shoot this guy so he's not an issue later and this cutscene skip up uh, coming up you want to skip this cutscene as quickly as possible and then we're gonna wait in the middle of these stairs and right when that uh, cannonball explodes move forward Tell Ashley to wait about right here. She'll get grabbed, but it won't matter. So um, that's just to, because there's going to be a guy running up um, from that little hut behind us. And uh, we're going to use Ashley uh, to distract him. So he's going to pick her up and try to take her to wherever. But we're going to be cranking the, the, the cannon up. So by the time he... Uh, crank the can up and blow up this um, this door here. It's this won't even matter. 
She'll end up about right here. <coughs> so this room is pretty, uh, it's nothing too crazy ever happened, really. You might get staggered every once in a while, lose a few seconds, but um, it's not that uh, too crazy. All right, this next room is when it steps up a little bit. Tell Ashley to wait. Pick up the money on the table. I like to do a 180 here. You can do two quick turns if you'd like. I found I find a 180 more comfy. Ever once in a while, I'd say one out of five times, um, there's there's going to be a guy here. If there's a guy here, just make a wider line, um, and you'll go around him every time. But you don't want to you don't want to take too long in here because if you take too long, um, dudes are going to spawn here and they're going to be surrounding Ashley. And if that happens, you have to reset the room and try again. So, yeah. Go back in the door. Swap swords. Then put the platinum sword in. Let's get the cutscene. Okay, this is another room. Uh, tell Ashley to wait when she meets about this part of the door. Don't tell her to wait super early. Uh, it's not just to, to make her uh, hold the door open for us. It's also to uh, to manipulate the enemies in this room. So if you tell her to wait like super early, you're going to get a weird pattern. So if you tell her to wait about right here, about 95% of the time this room's going to be free. So yeah, just like that. And we're going to bait these two guys out and run past them. They got a long a lot of recovery frame, so you got plenty of time to run past those guys. And then once you uh, once you're about right here, um, switch to the TMP, shoot the red barrel. Sometimes th they all won't get in here for some reason. Uh, some guy will. Um, you know, just get he he won't uh, get blown up by the the barrel. So uh, the door is going to close. So just sort of push the door open slowly and then kick and wait for him to get closer to the to the to the door, and then you'll uh, you'll stun him and pick up whatever money's in your path, as long as it's you know not too far out of your way, because you don't want to get grabbed. So I got several examples for Garador and Waterhall. I think I screwed up Garador here. And I guess I could use this Garador as an example of how you can recover from a bad Garador. It's not really recover, but um, you still lose like 10 seconds or so, but it's something you can come back from. Messing up Garador is not the end of the world. You can still recover and um, continue your run. Or not have to reset checkpoint. Forgot what happened here exactly. Yeah, I didn't let go of the, the scope button long enough. It's fairly common. Here I'm trying to bait, it, bait his attack so I get another Plaga shot. I missed. Wait for him to turn all the way around. Go for another shot. That's it. That's one ready to recover. So I'm going to switch over to another video. Some alternate strats here. Because there's several ways to do the room in Garador. Oh, we got audio here. That's nice. I don't know why I paused there. Come on. So the first thing I did there is I tell Ashley to wait about right here. 
And that's going to be... Uh, we're going to utilize that later. I don't remember how this Garador went, so we'll just see. It's pretty uh, standard. Nothing crazy happening. So this is just the normal way of doing the room and corridor. And then I go into incendiary water hall. So, um, I'll show the water holes uh, after. So here. Okay, I do Garador again. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is for rifle. So I'll equip the rifle before going into water hole. Yeah. Okay. I want to show all the Garrett War stuff first. Okay, right here is the... This is like the super beginner strat. Or like a backup strat if you mess up Garrett and reload checkpoint. Because if you reload checkpoint, Ashley's going to pop up uh, close by. And it's going to completely... Uh, Ruin the room. So if that happens, this is how you deal with that. Or this is the beginner strat. Without having to do the... The wait follow thing. Well, actually here I need to equip and reload. Because we need to use a bullet. Yeah, this is this is an old strat. So you can do it this way if you can't do it the optimal way. Then you go into uh, sniper water hole. I don't think I explained uh, how to do the weight fall thing. So. Basically, you do Garador, um, and Ashley's still waiting up there for us. So right when you hit about right here, the corner of this chair, uh, say wait, follow. And then sort of rub up on this guy. Don't like be too far left, because sometimes, from, from my experience, um, I think he will he'll move forward more, and... He'll go for a swing and could hit Ashley. So, if you rub up against him, he'll go for a grab. And, uh, you'll be fine. But that's something I've just been noticing recently. Okay, so this first one... So that's pretty much all the Gyarador stuff. Um, I'll show a Gyarador in slow motion real quick. Because it's, a. Uh, Or is it? So it's four Plaga shots and one body shot. Two quick turns. You don't, you don't have to be aiming directly. Oh, I hear a miss, actually. But this shows how forgiving that, that hitbox for the... Um, that Plagas is if you mess up that last shot. See, I'm not even aiming directly at it. Right here, I'm like... doesn't even look like I'm aiming at it. Let's see. It, it's pretty forgiving. There... It's not, the Garador stress not super flexible, but it, you can recover from it. 
Uh, do I have a clean Garador? Man, this freaking player sometimes. Like, I just don't understand. Oh, that's so annoying. I think this Garador is pretty clean. After this, I'll show the, the water halls. And the reason for unscoping, you, sh you shoot faster if you unscope and rescope. Yeah, that was good. And pick up the bunny. If you get hit, there's an herb over here to the right. Okay, so. Um. First one I'm going to show is Incendiary Waterhall. I do not recommend starting with this strat. Um, it's better to use the rifle strat first, just to, you know, get a... Uh, it, it's just easier than Incendiary when you're first starting. I mean, that's just my advice. If you want to go for Incendiary starting out, then by all means, but... Um, it's just up to you. So we equip our incendiary. But yeah, uh, rifle strat is just easier. You lose about 8 to 10 seconds on rifle strat. Which over an hour and a half run isn't that big of a deal starting out, so... Yeah. So you want to throw the grenade a bit to the left of this red zealot. I threw that too far to the left. I had to retry. I got hit. Happens. Both of those guys get away. That happens sometimes. Let's see how I deal with this. I can't remember. I made this... Uh, a while back. Yeah, nobody was in basement, so I just equipped the flash grenade. This is pretty this is optimal. This is what you want. Okay, if there's a guy here, just throw the flash like that. You should be okay. Yeah, I actually got hit. Yeah, this is a pretty messy one. I think there's a dude behind me. Yeah. yeah, she gets grabbed again. Here I'm trying to go for a, a kick, but it's just not happening. So I have to throw another flash. <laughs> Which is okay. I'm not sure if I make it out of this or not. I used all my TMP. Yeah, I just retry. It's just a mess. This should be a good one. No, this one ain't either. <laughs> I should get a good one eventually. Okay, this is decent. I get one of the guys. On, oh, no, actually, I don't get the red cell up. Oh, never mind. Mess it up again. Come on now. What the hell did I record? Okay, this is fine. You can slow the video down to see exactly where I'm aiming that that thing that uh incendiary grenade so right here if you see ashley look backward that means there's a guy behind us and you have to shoot them here just go for a headshot and kick and right here is uh in my opinion the trickiest part so we're going to tell ashley to use the crank and then back up a step and do a quick turn and throw our flash. And throw the flash exactly where I throw it. Probably a bit more into the middle there, but that that's fine. Yeah, I missed that archer. Which is okay, it's not that big of a deal.
Okay, I still made it out. That archer wasn't flashed, but it was fine. And this is the second half. Don't reload the rifle. Or that guy will catch up. And just shoot these enemies in the order that I'm shooting them. Oh, by the way, this is something I kind of forgot to mention. Um, when I got to the top here. So when you hit this point, we're going to pause to the options menu and reset checkpoint. So that it clears the, the whole room of enemies behind us. So if we, if we kept going and did all this there's got still gonna be a lot of enemies in the room so that's the reasoning for that sorry I totally uh, forgot about that make this guy's attack shoot him in the head the rest of this stuff's pretty self-explanatory maybe except one thing this running guy but these guys are always in the same spots if you're not too slow okay this running guys uh, you wanna shoot this guy you don't have to kill him but you just need to shoot him so he'll stop running or he'll catch up to Ashley and right here reload pick up whatever money's laying around then we're going to get the first aid out of this little room because we still got a little time left before Ashley's finished. You go to the door and turn the camera like this and wait for Ashley to get to the top stuff. And that's incendiary waterhole. So now I'm going to go over um, sniper strut. So before you go into go through this door, make sure you have um, at least four bullets. Shoot this guy, both archers, and shoot both the shield guys. Don't shoot the red Zella, we're just gonna down him with the uh, TMP. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Don't really remember how this plays out. So uh, it's kinda nice here, there's no one coming in. So there's always going to be a guy there and this red cell out, so just shoot both of them. Tell Ashley to use the crank, turn around. Shoot these guys until the shield guy's like right up on you. Kind of delay it as long as possible so that the, the bridge, you get the t give time for the bridge to come down. Another thing too to look out, look out for, like you saw me looking to the right here a couple of times. Sometimes, sometimes a guy will come up here. Uh, if a guy comes up here, uh, just do the best you can to uh, knock him down without shooting Ashley. Um, it's random when he'll pop up, so always uh, uh, be thinking about uh, your right side. And Ashley's almost done. We just sort of have to Hold our ground here. Yeah, that's pretty 
pretty much it. Look, there's a crank over there. And reload checkpoint. Here we have to, uh, well actually you don't have to reload the rifle because I've reloaded it after Garador. I think I missed a shot on Garador, I had three left so I had to reload so we don't reload the rifle here. <coughs> Pretty much just shoot these guys in the same order. This is kind of weird. This normally doesn't play out like this. But it's still pretty much the same. Okay, I run this way when doing the sniper strap. Yeah. I can shoot this guy. I missed. That's fine. You have a few opportunities to shoot that running guy. We'll just have to stand here a bit longer. Almost missed that shot. I guess screwed up my inventory here. I just had to fix it. Which is okay. It's not that big of a deal. Pick up whatever mines in your path. So you guys see here, that's not the way my inventory is supposed to look. So it's always best to just fix it, not let, not just let it be. Like it feels slow fixing it, but in the long run, um, it's a good thing for sure. If you let it get cluttered, um, it'll be a big problem later. Yeah, it was kind of a messy second half, but that's the general gist of it. Yeah, I just... Yeah, okay. That's all for Waterhall and... Uh... Garador. So we can kind of continue on here. I just do incendiary strats. Pretty regular stuff. Nothing... So now next is Novi's. Novi's one. That's a lot longer than I thought. There's still no audio. I don't remember when I corrected the audio. All right. Hopefully right here so I get the audio cue. Right here, I show a an extra flash. If you had to, if you had to use a extra flash in Waterhall, there's a backup. Okay, so there's no audio here, unfortunately, but run along this side of the wall, and right when you hear this Novi screech, turn the camera to the right, like I do. But yeah. And the reason we turn the camera to the right is to manipulate the Novi into doing a swing attack, which is easily dodge, uh, dodgeable. Pretty much the same thing here. We hold, just watch my controller here. And we're gonna run up against this ladder for like a second and wait and see if both of these Novi swing. If you see both of them swing, that's really good. Um, if you don't see the other one swing, uh, the second one, uh, there's a there's a chance when you're kicking the star you'll get hit. But if you're able to get both of them to swing, um, it's pretty free. Right here's another important little manip. Uh, do a quick turn right here, and it will uh, kind of confuse this Novi for some reason. 
If you don't do that, you could get hit there. In this room, there's a green herb if needed. Quick turn. Run through here. Turn the camera. That's it. That's an obvious one. It's not always going to look that way. Sometimes it'll get messy and you have to adapt and whatnot, but I'd say for the most part, it's that room isn't really an issue. But every once in a while, it'll uh, it'll rob you. But yeah. But I, to be honest, I've been running this game for over a year now, and I haven't lost that that many runs in that room compared to other rooms. So we're gonna shoot this guy. And the reasoning for shoot, shooting this guy uh, will delay him a bit so it doesn't trigger a cutscene. If you miss the shot, it'll trigger the cutscene. So make sure to take your time with that shot. And, uh, yeah. And then we're going to equip the flash. I don't know why not turn the audio back on. I don't think I ever do. It's kind of uh, unfortunate. Alright, so now we're Heading into gallery. This room is just as bad as water hall, maybe even worse. This part of the room is fairly consistent, though, if you do it right. I don't know. Oh, th this is where I realized I had no audio. Okay, good. Okay, sometimes this crossbow guy, I'll explain. There's two different things. This this crossbow guy is uh, the main problem of this part. If he's standing right here, uh, just do it normally. But if he's standing here, you can shoot this barrel and save a flash and not have to get the flash in the cage. But I'll tell you, um, most of the time this guy will die right in front of the door. And most of the time he'll drop handgun and you'll have to discard that handgun. Um, personally, I don't like shooting that barrel. Um, I'm slow at shooting it and this guy could shoot me. I, I'm just not a fan of going for the barrel shot. So I always throw the flash no matter what. But it's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable shooting the red barrel, it's whatever. But, uh, cause sometimes this guy can drop money and that's fine. But, uh, um, if he's standing here, to some people this is good RNG, so you don't have to get a flash later. So it, it, it's up to you. So just yeah, just be aware of that. So we're gonna throw the flash, push our incendiary, and this is fairly not super precise, but we want to have this wall sort of lined up with the edge of this pillar and we want Leon's ear um, this line here or this line or in the middle somewhere aiming up so kinda like that is good so if you see this wall is at the edge of this the, the shadow of this and Leon's ears with you know it you know like right here as for height, if Leon's ear is like down here, then you're aiming too low. If his ear is like up here, then you're aiming too high, and he could hit the ceiling. But uh, uh, yeah, this is a yeah, that's pretty much a perfect throw. And you want to jump down immediately. And another thing too, you don't want to have two incendiaries because Leon will have to do the extra animation of pulling out that incendiary, which will delay you jumping down and it will screw the whole thing up so so this guy's gonna do a little dance and you have to you can skip this cutscene but you have to watch this cutscene or um, it, it'll play out like normally if you skip it he'll he'll start running so we're gonna shoot him in the head twice and then in the body I 
did not scope properly again, but it's whatever. I don't remember how the second half of gallery went, but this is one, two, three, four. A good hit here, yeah. This guy decides to be a genius and throw the side. Just reload checkpoint. That's super rare, but it happens from time to time. Uh, right here, run up on the right side. Sometimes this guy will sidestep. Sometimes he won't. If he sidesteps, just go on the left. Hit the button. Quick turn. There's an herb there if you absolutely need it. Like, if that guy grabbed you and you have zero heals, then use the herb. But, um, don't just pick up that herb if you have a few heals already. Because that herb is kind of, um, for some reason, picking up that herb and running over there kind of messes with something. I don't know. But, uh,. It can uh, give you a weird pattern in here, so try to ignore it. Unless you're up here and you're in yellow and you have no heals whatsoever, uh, don't bother with that herb. Oh yeah, this is cool. I just backed up a little bit. Yeah. I would say in that case, starting out, just go for a kick. But it's whatever you're comfortable with, I guess. Three shots always kill these guys. They're super weak for some reason. Yeah, that, that's the second half of the gallery. Let's switch to a nade or the rocket launcher. Doesn't really matter. This room's free. We're just picking up treasures. Heading to the, uh, the dog maze. Not too much to talk about here. It's just memorizing where to run. Just don't run directly at the dogs. That's pretty much it. Every once in a while, on a very rare occasion, they'll catch up to you and get you, but if that happens, just, run, just do the QTE and heal. I've only had that happen like a handful of times. Here I show the beginner way of doing this uh, second um, half of the of the key item. I take the long way around instead of doing the quick turns. So just run along here, point the camera up, and by pointing the camera up, it confuses the dogs, and you just run right past them. And right here, we're going to combine those two things and. Uh, move on <coughs> the shortest uh, chapter in the game so here I have to reload take your time with this bottle shot don't try to do it super fast now this flash you don't have to get this flash if you did the, um, what do you call it, the rifle strat, you can skip this flash. But if you did the incendiary strat, you have to get this flash. Or you'll only have um, one flash for Novi's 2. And you want to have two flashes for Novi's 2. I mean, Novi's 2 is doable with one flash, but it's better to have two than one, so... And stay on along the right side of this wall. Don't venture out too far to the right or you'll trigger the room. So stay close to this wall and pick up the, the flash. 
to pick this up, walk forward a little bit. I think I get hit here. Yeah. This guy gets up super fast. Pretty ridiculous. So I'll show a few examples of this room. So we just shoot these three guys as quickly as possible. I show some spare rifle ammo if you missed a lot of shots in Waterhall. Get this if you miss like three or four shots in Waterhall. That's another example of reload cancel. So, yeah, I reset here. And I show the alternative method. Right here is where you equip the rocket launcher. I equipped it late for some reason. Every once in a while this will happen, which is good. This is like the ideal um, room here. I think I equipped the rocket launcher late again. Yeah, I did. But right when you shoot those guys, equip the rocket launcher and start running. This one I had to bait them. Just kick the door. I'd recommend just doing the lamp one for a while until getting comfortable with that. Now, if you're going for this strat and there's a guy right here, don't do that. You're gonna have to shoot the lamp or, or the, uh, the guy running up the left will get you. It's not too often he comes up here, but when he does, you have to shoot the lamp. So just switch to your TMP real quick and do the reload cancel and move on. So now we're headed to the most annoying part of uh, chapter three, in my opinion. I think right here I try to do the, the double chain shot just to showcase it. I don't get it here, so I reset. Yeah. So I'm just showcasing you can get the bottom two uh, chains with the... It's fairly difficult to do. I wouldn't get hung up if you don't get it. Don't reset over that. <laughs> just shoot the other chain and move on. Shoot those three guys as quickly as possible in that order. Get the rifle. Reload the rifle. Stand exactly where I'm standing there. And then aim the rifle about right here. That position just positions us correctly of where to throw the grenade. So we're going to shoot this guy in the leg, not in the side, in the leg, whip the grenade, aim it down, delay it slightly, and throw it. And the grenade should bounce about right now. It's kind of hard to play. So if you see it bounce right here, but if it bounces over here, the red zealot's not going to get killed and you have to reset the room. If it bounces way over here, it's not going to kill this guy. So you kind of want to, you want to land about in this spot right here. You can see it. It's just the right spot where it gets everybody. And right here, if you didn't do the reload cancel, uh, you reload the, the TMP in here. Alright, now we're, now we're as Ashley. The whole Ashley part's pretty free. Maybe except for this, this part here, but... It's not really a problem. So, we're gonna crank this until uh, this part of the gate is slightly over this this last bar you'll see it just like that and then stop and then we're going to crank this until this part of it is about right here and they switch to pretty self-explanatory mash them slow don't mash them fast or you accidentally press it again Just hit it until you see the cutscene and then skip the cutscene. 
I still do it that way sometimes just because it's you can still accidentally hit it again. There's a spinel right there on that chair if you need it. I'll be showing like random treasures that you can use as backup. I don't think I've ever picked up that spinel in my life, but I'll show it's there. You never know when you need something like this, I guess. There's a, another uh, treasure there. It goes for about 8,500. Just, just showing this there. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pick it up. I never picked it up myself, but. Um, just showing it. And we're approaching the end of chapter three of the halfway point of castle. So as you can see so far, there's a lot more going on in castle than village. Definitely a lot more uh, interesting than village. Village is pretty, you know, it plays out. It's what's born. <laughs> compared to Castle. Castle's definitely my favorite part of the run. Alright, that is, uh... That's Chapter 3. All right, so that'll do it for this part of the castle video. Um, I'll have to make the second half later because I have to do something. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a comment below if you if you like this tutorial. Um, I'd appreciate it. Um, any criticisms are welcome as well. Anything I can improve on because uh, this is something I'd like to do more in the future with these uh, little tutorials. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully this, uh, this helped you out getting started and, um, I'll see you guys in the second half of, uh, uh, um, Kessel. All right. Peace.